This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 113162 series laptop. And I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a Dell Inspiron 11 i 3162 uh, The first step is figuring out what exactly what model this is for. Uh, Dell does not make it easy. So this is not a Chromebook, this is an Inspiron 11 and it's not a touch screen, it's just a regular non-touch laptop. On the box it'll say 11-i30 30 or 11-i3162 dash something something and it also say Dell Inspiron 11. If you try to find the model number on the back of this laptop you're not going to find the 3162 what you are going to find is the P24T. So Inspiron 113162 is the same as a P24T. So basically it's the non-touch Dell Inspiron 11 that came out in um, mid-2016. So this procedure should work. Next thing is making sure that the laptop is powered down. This is the power button. Make sure it's completely off, not flashing or blinking or anything. Just totally off and just go through the regular shutdown procedure on the laptop. Next, we're gonna show you the tools that we're gonna use today. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. Actually, this is a PH1. This is a PH0 screwdriver, so it's a little bit smaller. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck to pry things open. And this, we have a spudger also to pry things open. So the first thing we gotta do is to remove this plastic frame around the screen, the screen bezel. And in order to do that, we have to remove the two plastic hinges on the bottom. This is a bit unusual for this kind of laptop that you have to remove the plastic hinges separately. So the way we do this is, the easiest way I found to do this is to um, use this metal tweezers and kind of try to get under the hinge. So like this and just maybe just gently work the hinge off hinge cover off like so and it comes off and then when you're done after you put the bezel back on just kind of work it back in and snap it in again so sometimes yeah it snaps in so it snapped in like that so let's remove it again just try to get under the hinge cover and just work it off with the metal tweezers. So the left side for some reason is a little bit more difficult than the right side, but it can be done also. So do it like this. And that's the hardest part of the whole procedure. And I'm not sure if these are exactly the same, but keep, a, keep track which side is up, which side is down, and which side is right, and which side is left, and just lay them down on the side. Next is we're going to snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame, and to do that, this is not as difficult. Put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and find the edge and just lift the edge up and out and snap it off. This part should come right off like so. And it comes right out. Next, once we see the screen assembly, we have to separate the screen from the screen assembly and it's held in by four screws. And we gotta remove these four screws and while we do that, we have to have the laptop tilted back. I see that the screws are very small so the regular PH1 screwdriver is not gonna work. So we have our smaller PH0 screwdriver and that works fine and remove the four screws while the laptop is tilted back and put them in their own pile. So one, two, three, and four. So almost there.
and like this. Next, we grab the screen by the tabs, by the metal tabs, and lay it down on the keyboard. When we do that, make sure not to disturb or touch the power button so the laptop does not accidentally turn on. Next, what we want to do is remove this connector. And to do that, we have to lift up the adhesive tape. We use our hobby knife to lift up a corner and then just use our fingertips to separate it carefully. Okay, also for this model, there's a metal bar that we have to rotate up and out so we can remove the connector. So rotate the metal bar up and then pull the connector back like so. So it should pull out. So I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When we reconnect it, you want to slide it in like so. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, we'll remove the connector again and take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen with a matte finish. So EDP means it's a 30 pin connector and the mounting tabs are on the sides. The part number for this screen is B116XTN02.3. When you do get this part in, most likely it will not be the same part number, but it should look exactly the same with the connector and the mounting tabs in the same place and have a matte finish. You can order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and to do that, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and then we'll guide you to buy the right screen online. All right, uh, what you do get from us is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes for free with the screen, and also we have free priority mail shipping in the United States. So you'll get your screen within uh, two or three days if you live in the United States. If you're outside the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country. Also, if you work with a school, uh, we work with schools quite a bit. We take purchase order numbers, purchase orders, and we have volume discounts. At the top of our webpage at screensurgeons.com, there should be a link that says school, and then there will be a separate form for you to, to fill out. Once you do get the screen in, uh, make sure it's the right one, then connect it as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back in, and then put the, put the hinge covers, snap the hinge covers back on, and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panarutkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.